Hola a todos. Hola, Loita. We are Jan and Claudia. We are an international couple from Germany and Spain, and we have been living here in Zurich for almost a year. And today we are continuing with our series Ask in Zurich because we want to actually go to the streets and ask people how did they find a job here in Zurich, Switzerland. And before we begin, we actually wanted to thank you very much for all your support. Uh, we are very happy that you are finding this kind of content very helpful. And if you want to continue supporting us, please give us a like. And if you are not, subscribe to our channel. And this said, let's go. Darling, you send me. You send me. What would you recommend somebody to find a job in Zurich? Recommend. <laughs> Become oh, oh, medical okay. person. <laughs> yeah. medical we both person. live in uh, work in medical sector, yes. and it's easy to find a job there. But how I did you find a job in the uh, medical sector? Uh, you, you, you ask. <laughs> you there ask. Are so many do you have open a job, jobs, and so you have a job oh, next week. Yeah. We're. I mean, I'm medical assistant, and she works in radiology, yeah. and they're on the search for like people everywhere. So if you work in the medicine, yeah. come to us. Come to us. <laughs> <laughs> As an expert, if I don't work in medical sector, you have anything you would recommend me? I think job informatics, like informatics yeah. probably, I don't know, economics. Okay. Yeah. I think basically just ask somewhere if they have a job or know someone and then yeah. I think they can help it's you very easy to me. find. To get into the Swiss markets, uh, employer expect you to have Swiss experience in a way. Uh -huh. So it's easier to try to find a, a entrance door first with an employer from where you're from. Uh, and then then you will see a bit more the Swiss market opening up uh, slowly. So yeah. yeah. Okay. So yeah. you would recommend to be in a company which maybe has also a base in Switzerland yeah. and then you would apply to Yeah, move. exactly. So exactly. that's yeah. what you did in your That's what we did, yeah, exactly. Ah, both yeah. of you did. Yeah, both. Both. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Aha, okay. I moved six months later because yeah. I still had my job in Belgium and I yeah. didn't want to move without a Swiss job because Makes it's just sense. easier to get the B permit and everything Makes sense. if yeah. you're European. I understand. And yeah. you have a work contract, so yeah. that was the main yeah. case for us. What are your names? <laughs> My name is Shane. <laughs> My name is Jasmine. Nice to meet you. And what did you do for a living? Yeah, so right now I'm a student, uh, but I had like a little job and uh, I was a waitress there. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> yeah, I'm also studying uh, psychology and now right now I'm a volleyball trainer at oh. the university. Cool. Yes. <laughs> and you're both Swiss? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and like, how did you find these jobs? Well, I knew somebody that was doing the same thing mm -hmm. and then I just asked and yeah, so I got it. <laughs> and you've played very good volleyball yes, for yourself. So that helps. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that helps. <laughs> yeah, and I was like, uh, right now, one day I just thought now I need a job. <laughs> and I went to the cafe and was asking if they need someone. Nice. And they were like, yeah, do you have experience? I was like, no. <laughs> They were like, yeah, we will write you a mail and uh, I already thought like, yeah, that won't happen. Mm -hmm. But then it happened, so <laughs> it nice. was very nice. So you just enter directly to the cafe and said, I want to work? Yeah. No mm -hmm. CV necessary? No, actually, <laughs> like, they asked for it. <laughs> it was like very, just just one morning, <laughs> it plopped up in my mind. And so uh, they asked for a CV, but they, I hadn't one, so <laughs> they couldn't get one. <laughs> Nice, it worked. <laughs> yeah. And like, how how much was the process? Like, how long did it take until they said, "Okay, girls, you're hired"? Mm, just, I think two weeks, and then, yeah, yeah. So very that quick. Yeah, that's yeah, true. true. Yeah, for me also a week actually. Wow. Yeah, so that was nice. <laughs> For technology, for example, there's a lot of companies, a lot of mm. labs working in fields that interest us. I would say once you're here already, an important thing is to try to meet as many people as you can. Mm. You know, to build a life with like, activities in it and yeah, lots of varied activities. Ba basically, just don't stay home, you know, okay. and it'll help. If you enjoy watching this video so far, please consider liking this video and subscribing. And now let's continue asking people here in the streets of Zürich. How is it for you uh, to, as an expert to find a job in Zürich? Uh, it was uh, simple because simple. Uh, I, I, do, I do some things that not so many people do. Uh -huh, okay. I'm a data engineer. 
Ah, ok. So I'm a Mais... programmer. Ah, nice. I used to work at Cartier, now I work for UBS at ah, Zurich. Ah. I don't speak German, so... Ah, you don't speak German? Not yet. Oh, not yet. <laughs> And so, what would you recommend an expat if they want to find a job in Zurich? To master what they do, to... Put much, put, to put some effort in in the job and uh, and yeah to, to rest after once you find the job. <laughs> What would you advise them to do? So be brave, come around, look before coming, mm. and once you are here, really show your best, spread around, meet people, network. And, yeah, mm. networking is very important here, and learn German. So it's German. <laughs> that's, that's something that they would really appreciate. Well, I, I've looked for jobs while I've been here. Mm -hmm. I think it's about being open-minded. Open-minded. Um, I think particularly Zurich has a lot to offer. When you start looking, you see how many companies are based here. Yeah. With their headquarters and also um, startups. And, and there's a bit of an entre um, entrepreneurial sector for sure mm -hmm. so i think zurich has a lot of variety okay. and it can cope with the multilingualism ah, challenge okay. as well so, so you think it's like an advantage if you have like speak several languages and you must be open-minded for yeah opportunities if you don't and i think bilingual is fine as long as your second language is to a certain degree of, of some level that's yeah that's okay. bringing something um yeah Makes sense. But there's lots of English speaking jobs as well, so it's quite cosmo cosmopolitan. It's very cosmopolitan, yeah. 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 You yeah. can get along without English. Yeah, you can. Oh, yeah. 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 Without German. Yeah, hey, without German. Yeah. <laughs> That's right, yeah. <laughs>
And how did you move from Argentina to here? Like, how did you find a job in Switzerland? Well, uh, I moved here because uh, my boyfriend uh, lived here and had a job here. Uh, I met him when I traveled here uh, the first time. Um, and uh, I've traveled here back and forth a few times. I just came here to visit and um, I got lucky and I got contacted by someone on LinkedIn saying, you know, a firm, a Baugespan firm that's saying, you know, they saw my profile and uh, uh, they wanted to know if I was still looking for work in Switzerland and that they were working with an architecture firm that was looking for architects, uh, so to send them my CV. And I did and that worked out. <laughs> so. So yeah, it was basically random luck. Uh, so I recommend having a LinkedIn profile. If there are like ex experts watching us, like what advice would you give them to find a job here in Zurich or in Switzerland mm -hmm. in general? I think it's much more difficult. I don't know. Um, in Zurich think, too. Yes, but also because we always get jobs because of connections. Mm. So that's really easy. I also got a job at university for that, but I don't know how to get one if you don't have, yeah, yeah perhaps the only, yeah, only like search on websites mm. and also if you're well, a student living in Switzerland from abroad and um, there are like uh, websites from university, um, I don't know, like market, marketplatz or marketplace, something like that. Also and on Facebook. True. Yeah. And mm. there you can also get jobs. <coughs> cool. Yeah. And I would say maybe just take any job you mm. can get because it's better to get a job and even though you don't like it or anything because I would say the same like in Zurich it's very hard I guess right. and then when you get a job and it's not your dream just take it. Yeah. Oh they also could <laughs> try um, just like um, Adia or Adia. True. Adia? Oh, oh what well, was the other name? Uh, there are some like apps. apps. Okay. <laughs> like Google. dating apps? Yeah, Google. For you. Yeah, like Google. Google and Adia, you have to um, like register and then True. put up your CV and then you can like apply for jobs and then okay. there's like temporary jobs but I guess if you have your like experience there you yeah and you nice. know the people you can get like a real job okay and most of the time it's like they they uh, take you first from Adia or Kubo yeah. and then um, sometimes they ask like do you like have you spare time or yeah. do you want another job and then you just get to know those people because okay. it works so much yeah. about connection oh, we yeah. also both worked there like, yeah for a true. while yeah so yeah. It's <laughs> it works also yeah nice. so true. basically like having a nice network in the country and yeah. if you don't like just take the first job that you get move here and from there if you don't like your job try to look for a new one yeah, yeah. <laughs> i'd say yeah okay yeah. 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 you just have to get some contacts mm. here and after that start because it's really difficult if you are starting it alone mm. you need contacts and how good you meet these contacts <laughs> <laughs> i don't know we had family here what would you recommend experts that want to move here to switzerland for work what advice could you give them? I mean, the most useful thing, uh, even now after I got the job and everything, is learning German. Especially if your field is not something so international, like I know a lot of people now are tech workers and can work entirely in English. But if you are going to be working in some more regional field, something that you have to be more in contact with local companies and you know, um, for example, we have to work with construction companies, we have to work with the municipality and all of these things. It's just uh, German is a requirement. I started working with very little German, but under the presumption that I would learn more and I have a lot, so it's, it's getting better. And you think it's like important as an expert to talk German also? Yeah, I for think, the especially in Zurich. in Zurich. I mean, yeah. you can talk Italian or French in like the other parts of Switzerland, but in Zurich, I think you have to talk German. To find a yeah. job is like yeah. a new But by us in the medicine from radiology, there are so many people that come from Netherlands yeah. or something else because they can't talk German because we need the stuff. Yeah. So yeah, you can talk English for the whole year and then can start learn German. Yeah, so but it's no you problem. have to be in a process of learning yes, German. Yes, you have to yeah. learn German. Because there are a lot of elderly people who cannot speak English. Mm -hmm. So I think to start you have to speak either English or German and then you have to learn German. At the moment in a hotel I make an apprenticeship as mm -hmm. hotel communication specialist. Nice. So it was hard to find because I was like 15 and you start early in Switzerland to find mm -hmm. a job. Depends if you know go to study or not but 
I just made an apprenticeship. But it's paid, right? Yeah, it's paid. Mm. Not really a lot, but it's apprenticeship. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So that's normal. At least that's paid. True. Um, I would definitely call them, to, you know, to to make the personal space. You would call the company itself. Yeah, call true. Call them by because phone. Because if you mm. if you already talk to them, for them it's it's more difficult to to put you down. Aha. Okay. No, that's yeah. a good advice. It's a good, I think. Wow, this was really interesting and we are very grateful for all the people who were willing to participate in this today's video. So the three key facts that we think we got out of this video is that first of all, Swiss as well as expats say kind of a similar thing, which is that networking is among the most important thing. Having a network here or a contact or somebody you know inside the company mm -hmm. seems to be very, very important of getting a job here within Zurich. Second is that German and speaking German seems to be very important. It has been said by a lot of people that maybe you don't even have to speak German when coming here for getting a job and especially in the IT industry, but somehow showing a willingness in the long term of willing to learn German and being able to learn and speak German in the long run seems to have very high importance for getting a job here within Zürich. And third, make your application personal. You want to stand out compared to other people who are also applying for the same position as you. If you just hand in your CV online, you are just one CV as maybe 100 other people who also applied for this job. So how do you make your application personal? And there we have heard some very nice advice of some people, which is go to the office, call them and maybe reach out or like go by yourself into the office and show your face, <laughs> show your voice and make an impression, make them remember you that you're not just an empty CV who maybe nobody knows. So thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed watching this video, please consider liking this video and subscribing to our channel. We really, really appreciate that. And yeah, take care. See you next week. Bye.